well, who's insecure? Them. Ooh, you say is as like you are dead to me. Well, that's gonna be something else. Well, they're scared right now because you don't respond to their text, their call, and it could be a long distance relationship. So you're probably either giving just them the cold treatment, the cold shoulder. But right now they're having some sort of like, oh no, what's going on with my life? This and that. So they can't face, you know, basically their day right now because of how you're treating them. There's a lot of things inside your head that you've been thinking lately with the Four of Swords and the Death card. Okay, Aries, let's see. One of the things that I know you're thinking about, yes, I know this for a fact, that if you are going to get the jewelry collection that I'm about to talk about, okay? <laughs> Here we go, let's see. So, if you are an Aries who is impatient, which you are, who doesn't appreciate the hustle, which I think you do appreciate the hustle, you don't turn a person down when they're hustling and doing the work, right? So then you would appreciate what I'm about to do. Our 14 karat real gold with diamonds is back from Spain. We had it four years ago and it was hard and difficult for us to bring it back in stock. It's here now. It comes in a whole kit this time, which is amazing, and it's on pre-sale. Gold is good, especially sun is exalted in Aries. If you want success, fame, and you know, kingly or queenly, whatever you want to call it, wearing gold is suspicious for you. Very, very good. If you have a sun in the first house, you gotta wear gold, darling. Guess who has sun in the first house? Right here. <laughs> no, it's true. So now you know, kinda. So how did you become famous or whatever, if you want to call this fame or successful? I do have sun in the first house. Yes. So you see how affected it is. Now, if you don't have sun in the first house, then you need it more. Because I was always on the top. Always. Always. I was always seen by many. Yeah. But then I just add it more. Then there you go. You can, and of course, diamond is for relationship. I stay away from diamond because it's like, do we really need a relationship? No, I'm happy. I'm very happy with me <laughs> okay, right now with what I have. So if I add relationship, that's just adding stuff to the party. Okay. It comes with this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You got to wait for the read. I will test your patience, Aries. And if you can survive my shameless plug-in, which I'm not ashamed, then you probably now are not impatient. It comes with a crystal that I will pick for you also. Mm -hmm. This one is a lucky crystal, okay? Carry it with you. I'll talk more about the bracelet that comes with it before you have a heart attack. <laughs> Death card, Four of Swords, with the Two of Pentacles, with the World card, you're moving on. I feel like you're about to relocate also. There's a Capricorn who's having anxiety over you. The Scorpio, see, Capricorn devil card. The Scorpio that you have cut off from your life. I feel like they understand that it is it is what's best for the two of you to separate. But they do have a lingering energy of wanting to be with you. You have a Nine of Pentacles with the Ace of Swords. You could be applying for a new job. This is important documents, visa, passport, and our LLC. So these are business documents also. You may be traveling and moving to a new country. Ace of Swords with the World Card. Some of you guys here are from UK. I'm seeing it here. Yes, we do ship to the UK, Australia, Canada, everywhere that you can think of. Four of Pentacles with the Nine of Pentacles, South Africa. Yes, we do. Mexico, we had issues. <laughs> okay, I'm just being true. Okay. So with the Ace of Wands right here and the Queen of Cups, you started loving yourself. You're fulfilling your dreams. I'm seeing here with the Hermit and with the Hangman, you're doing some soul searching. And I feel that it is the best time for you to do this right now, especially that Jupiter in the Jupiter is in the first house, which is a Hamsa Yoga. You're going to ask me again, Sal, do you have, if you know what the Hamsa Yoga and you know what Jupiter brings to the first house, do you have this? I do have Jupiter in the first house. Jupiter is in Aries right now. If that's your ascendant sign, you are lucky. Am I lucky? I was dying seven, 10 years ago, I believe. Two weeks, you know, I had, you know, I was given life, you're going to die. I was still saved. Jupiter is the sweetness of life. It is the savior in a chart. So if Jupiter is in a good dignity, Jupiter can save you. Is my Jupiter a good dignity? Yes, it is. So that's why I'm telling you, if you know more about your chart, you will understand how things manifest and you will see the pros and cons. Not everything in my life is good. Yes, trust me on that one. I just make it look good. 
because I'm looking good, you know? <laughs> Just like, <laughs> hangman here with the hermit, you're doing soul searching. So during this time, I need the Aries right here to center, focus on themselves, right? I'm going to show it to you. Justice over here with the Six of Wands, you are meant to cut this person off because you have a King of Pentacles that's you're going to be, um, you're going to be channeling that energy in, I feel like into more of like a career focus, okay? Like this morning when I texted in our app and a message is free, you can download it. I was talking about success and how to turn it to your favor. Like meaning, you know, how to turn life into your favor. I wasn't always favored, not at all, but I was able to change it, okay? So you have here the page of wands in the Ace of Cups, new love and new beginning. So this Aries, okay, whoever I'm reading for needs the new, okay, <laughs> the new. If you are part of a toxic relationship and you're unable to let go, Obsidian, we already know, talk about that, right? But I added a Super 7 in the kit, which is, that bumps it more. So whoever this person is, if they would survive a Super 7, they are an immortal, okay? No. So use this to remove that negativity, okay? And then, of course, my OG who have been following me, you guys know the history about the Aries, okay? No, that Aries was very, very wonderful to me, yes. Wow, look at that. I told you, remove that person, the devil, right? And you're going to attract someone new. Ace of Cups to the lovers. Good things can happen to you provided that you make that decision today, Aries, today. And I know you're that kind of person who will say, okay, today I've thought about it. Four of Swords, I want a new life, a new beginning. And today I'm also going to get the double P out because Sal says if I add it to the cart, I will get $25 off. Did I say that? Okay, then if I said it, then go add it now to your card just for this weekend and you can get $25 off on your favorite double PL Black Obsidian Citrine. Yes, that's how smooth I am. You didn't even know, but you know, I got it done. <laughs> so go get it. Nothing's going to stop you, Aries. The tower. <laughs> See, I told you, it's all about the obstacle. One thing that the Jupiter in the first house is doing to you is you're becoming smarter. Your wisdom is phenomenal. Your knowledge Jupiter in the first house also gives you that guru-ish energy or you will be getting a lot of teachers towards your life. And that's how you will gain wisdom. So if someone is teaching you right now, coaching you, you're going to some different kinds of life coaching events or going to classes, absorb those teaching, execute that, and then your life can easily start new. Ace of Cups with the Lovers can be with a Gemini or a Scorpio. Man, you guys are on a roll. The sun is here. Now, I do say Dear Astrology, so your birthday will come soon, yes, but in Western, I feel like it's sooner, yes. So when sun goes to Aries, which is the spring equinox, which is the new year in Vedic Astrology, we celebrate this tremendously. So you would need to let go of this, death, the devil, right? And start a new life. Once sun is in its exaltation sign, which is Aries, this can be an energy that we can use to manifest something great for us. Sun is Surya. It is the giver of energy for us. It is a natural Atma. Okay? And sun, of course, is connected to gold. That's why it's very important for you to get it before your birthday. <laughs> okay? It comes in a zodiac kit. I'll see you guys again tomorrow. I wish you many blessings. Goodbye.